look at this guy. Look at this guy. He just hanging out of nowhere land. No idea where he came from or what he's hanging from. But he's about to die. Hey, I'm Vlogging Brandy, and this is our varsity, a university for RVers. Last year, I was in this RV, and I saw spiders coming out of my air vents. They were in the bed of my RV, and I was just so creeped out to be in my RV. So I went on a mission to spider-proof my RV, and I kind of found out that I wasn't the only one. I found a lot of things that worked for me to help get rid of the spiders, and I thought that I would share them in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, because each and every week I'm sharing tips just like this about my RV life. Before I forget, I'm gonna put links to all of this down below this video that you can check out. One of the things that I mentioned about my spider infestation was the location. I was in Florida at the time, it was hurricane season. I want to say it was like July or August. They like to get out of that wet, humid temperature just like you do. So they come inside. I had just picked up my RV. It had been in storage and it was sitting in a foot of water when I picked it up. One of the first things that I researched about spider infestations and getting bugs in out of your RVs is to clean, clean, and clean. Clean the RV from inside to out. So one of the first things that I did when I got the RV out of storage or do now anytime I move it is go to an RV wash. You want to make sure to get off any tree limbs from the top of the RV. Make sure everything is clean up top. Anything that would be up there it would be off an RV wash or get your water hose go up there. Clean off the slide toppers and clean off any of the gutters that you have. One of the things that you want to do not only to clean your air condition outside for any kind of debris but also come inside and make sure to change your air filters in the RV. You want to check, go through this, clean it with a vacuum duster, and also kind of just look inside the AC to see if you can clean anything out there. And I also will just open this up and wipe this down and just get this really clean. You're going to make sure that you sweep, vacuum, and mop vacuum and check your vents because food particles like to get in there. You want to make sure that you are cleaning your cabinets from not only top to bottom but inside your cabinets and out. So I have this duster that I use. Also when I'm cleaning I literally scrub the walls with either apple cider vinegar or white vinegar and you can get these at the dollar store, Walmart, Amazon, and I'll mix it with water and put it in a spray bottle and I will literally spray the walls because bugs and spiders don't like vinegar. So I went through my entire RV wiping the walls, wiping everything down with vinegar, including the ceiling. Another thing that bugs like is standing water. So you want to get rid of any kind of water that's sitting around. Now that might include your coffee maker. Mine collects water, so I try to make sure to dump this out. If I have dishes in the sink, like this tray, I just try to make sure that I dump any kind of water out. When you're in your shower, you don't leave too much standing water. The good thing about my shower is I have this skylight, so it helps the sunlight comes in during the day and helps dry up the water. And then another thing to think about is not only water but your pet food so if you keep water in your pet bowls that can attract bugs as well as their food so another thing that i do is i keep all of my food sealed so if i get something out i'll try to put it in plastic bags so it's not sitting out i'll also use containers so i keep these clear plastic containers that come off and so I can still see everything but it keeps everything sealed off from the bugs and that's good from our snacks to spices everything stays sealed so another good thing to keep around in your RV to get rid of the bugs is a puppy or maybe a cat 
and they help run off the bugs. And then these other things I have are these Bell and Howell. Um, they're like high frequency noise electro shocks that they send out. But if you're plugged up, I keep them plugged in all throughout the RV. So I have this one here in the kitchen. I have them throughout like in the garage upstairs. I uh, keep this one plugged up, but they make just a really high pitch noise and you really can't hear it. Sometimes you'll hear this click and I know somebody's gonna ask me, does it bother the dog? It doesn't really seem to bother the dog. Keep boxes and trash outside of your RV or at least in some type of trash can with a lid on the container. This is a collapsible trash can that I have, but I try to keep all my trash outside and then I'll be able to close this door and keep any kind of bugs out in here in the garage in the RV or if your RV is smaller just make sure you keep your trash trash sealed so the bugs aren't attracted to it. Another thing that you're gonna want to do is prevent any of the insects or spiders from coming into the RV. So check around your slide out. So I have a slide out here in my bedroom and then I have one in the kitchen where the dinette is. But you wanna check for any air pockets that you can see from the floor and around the seals, both inside and out. And also I've checked inside these drawers and I found holes at times. So I would definitely check behind your dressers and drawers and just see if you can find any air pockets. If you find any of these holes in your RV, you just wanna make sure to try to seal them off as best as you can to prevent any bugs from getting in. Another thing that I figured out that bugs hate are citrus smells so i'll have essential oils that i'll put into an aromatherapy or sometimes i'll sprinkle these around the house or in the air vents and i'll run this to keep the bugs away and just deter them so it's just another thing i add if you are in my rv you might find one of these things laying around so i read about what spiders hate or what deters bugs so i heard that you should take citrus like the peels like an orange and kind of like rub it around the base of the window so I would cut this and rub this around take cinnamon sticks and put them in your windows or around the RV another thing that you'll probably find throughout my RV are these dryer sheets so I picked these up at the dollar store and I will put these everywhere so you might find them like literally just up above the cabinet in the RV or I'll put them inside cabinets if I'm storing the RV I'll actually put them inside these vents if your RV's been sitting for a while or if you have a major infestation get some of these indoor foggers shake this can and set it off and it clouds the RV and kills all the bugs inside and then you can start your next mission which is to add things like ant traps keep all of the bugs out of your RV put these ant traps throughout the house and not only do they have ant traps but they have spider traps and then I'll have things like raid or some of the traditional bug sprays and I look for things that you can use indoor versus outdoor as well as I try to find things that maybe are safe for pets so Zevo is a new brand that's hit the market and I've been testing them out they have some things that you can do before or on contact. So there's preventative measures that you can do for bugs and then there's things that kill them instantly. So one of the things that I definitely recommend doing is getting some bug spray that works not only inside but out. And I'll take this and I'll spray this bug spray all throughout the inside of the RV, just throughout all the corners that any bugs could get in. And then I'll also take this bug spray and make a barrier around the entire RV. Spray inside these compartments as well. These may not be all of the traditional ways to take care of spiders in your RV, but it's what has worked for me. Make sure to try these, but also remember to clean, clean, clean. Clean your RV from top to bottom, inside and out. Take it to the RV wash and don't allow these bugs to build homes.
things. So now you know how to spider proof your RV. I've put links to all of these products below this video as well as my top 10 mistakes that most RVers make because getting spiders infested in your RV is just one of them. You can pick all of that up below this video. And don't forget to, of course, subscribe where I'm sharing weekly tips and tricks for RVing and all the things that work for me. And if you want to RV like a pro, head over to our Versity and join my How to RV Academy. All of the goodies are in the description below this video. I'm Blogging Brandy. This is our Versity, a university for RVers. Make sure to hit that like button below. Share this video with someone you know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.